Hello guys, welcome back to Algot. So today we are going to discuss an interesting question named sum of bitwise or of false sub arrays. So in this problem, we would be given an array of positive integers and we have to find the total sum after performing the bitwise or operation on all the sub arrays of a given array. So let us understand this problem statement better with the help of this example. So in this example, our input array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we have written this array here. So you can see here that we have formed all the sub arrays that we could have formed with the help of this array 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And also you can see that we have written the bitwise or of all of the all of the elements of a particular array in front of them. So we have to do nothing. We just have to add all of these values that is 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 7 and so on. And, the, and our final answer would be the sum of all of these values and which in this case is 71. So we will print 71 as our answer. So for now this problem might seem pretty easy because we just have to use two simple for loops for making a sub array and simultaneously we could calculate the bitwise or for that. So let us look at the approach for solving this problem uh, like this. So these are the two for loops. First for loops runs from first element of our array to the last element of our array and the second for loops runs from ith index to last index of our array. So what basically this second for loop is doing, this second for loop is forming all the sub arrays starting from ith index and then as soon as we are uh, adding any element to our to the sub array that we are forming, we increment our variable current or and we add that current or to our answer and this variable answer is the uh, final answer that we have to eventually return. So uh, as you can see there are two for loops running over or uh, running over of uh, running over our array of size n. So the complexity so the time complexity for solving this problem using this approach would be O of n square and space complexity as you can see would be O of 1 which is pretty good for now. So what if your interviewer asks is ask to optimize this approach and to reduce this time complexity to lesser than O of n square time complexity. So now let us try to reduce the time complexity for solving this problem. So now let us discuss optimized approach. Optimized approach. To find the optimized approach for solving this problem, we have to dig deeper into this problem. So let us take a better example for doing that. So let our example be 3, 2, 4, 2, 1 and 7. So as you can see that we have to deal with bitwise or operation on all sub arrays. So for solving such problems, it is always better to represent these array elements in their binary representation. So let us do that. So 3 is represented as 0, 1, 1, 2 is represented as 0, 1, 0, 4 is represented as 1, 0, 0, 2 is represented as 0, 1, 0, 1 is represented as 0, 0, 1, 7 is represented as 1, 1, 1. So this is second bit, this is first and this is zeroth bit. And this is zeroth index, this is first, second, third, fourth and fifth index. Now, now let us find the contribution of this zeroth bit on this sub array, on all the sub array starting with this index 2 or starting with this element 4. So uh, let us write the 0th bit, 1st bit and 2nd bit of uh, this number 4 which are 0, 0 and 1. Now let us write the 0th index of 4 or 2 which is this sub array. Uh, the 0th index of this sub array is obviously 0 because 0 or 0 is 0. Now 0th bit of 4 or 2 or 1 is also is 1, 0th uh, bit of 4 or 2 or 1 or 7 is also 1. Now let us write the first bit of 4 or 2 which is 1. Now four, now the first bit of 4 or 2 or 1 is also 1, four or, uh, first bit of 4 or 2 or 1 or 7 is also 1. Similarly we can say that uh, second bit of 4 or 2 is 1, 4 or 2 or 1 is also 1, 4 or 2 or 1 or 7 is also 1. Now let us calculate the contribution of each bit. So contribution of 0th bit would, would be uh, 2 indices have uh, 1 as their 0th bit. So contribution would be 2 into 2 raised to the power 
zero. Now three indices are one, so contribution is three into two raised to the power one, and four indices are one, so four into two raised to the power two. Also, we can calculate it like this. This um the this number is four, this number is six, this number is seven, this number is also seven. So when we add these numbers, it came out to be twenty four, and by adding these three numbers this also came out to be 24 so our answer is correct by both the methods now the most important thing that you might have observed till now is that contribution of any ith bit on all the sub arrays starting with any index j we just need to find the nearmost index on its right side having one as its ith bit so let us uh, rethink this again so let us consider this zeroth bit now here as soon as we have added one to our sub array that is as soon as our array becomes uh, as soon as our sub array becomes 4 to 1 now we know that we need uh, we do not need to add any element after that because our zeroth bit is now one and uh, no uh, and it doesn't matter what operation or what bit we add into our subset or what bit we add into our sub array it will always remain one from now on so as you can see this is one and uh, this is one after that also so if we consider this first bit then after encountering this position we have all ones same is the case with this that is same is the case with second bit as soon as we have encountered a one then there are only ones after that so basically what we could have done is we, uh, as soon as we encounter a one we just we just could have did this operation n minus index into 2 raised to the power i where i is the current bit that we are iterating on and index is the nearest index on its right side having uh, i th bit as 1 so for this case uh, this index was 4 so 5 or 6 minus 4 into 2 raised to the power 0 which is same as this for this case 6 minus 3 into 2 raised to the power 1 and for this case 6 minus 4 or 6 minus 2 sorry into 2 raised to the power 2 so now let us list down what all major things that we have discussed right now so first thing is that Uh, there is no need to iterate n times over this array of n size so better would be to iterate over these bits or these 31 bits and to find the contribution of all of these 31 bits on all n into n plus 1 sub arrays n into n plus 1 by 2 sub arrays now as you can see we again have to perform 31 into n into n plus 1 by 2 operations so to reduce this n into uh, n into n plus 1 or n square factor we would use our second finding or the second fact that we have found or that we have observed so the second fact is that for uh, counting the contribution of any ith bit on any jth on any sub array starting at jth index we just need to find the nearmost element on its right side having its its ith bit as 1 so for implementing this we just need to iterate over this array from right to left for any ith index we just need to iterate over this array from right to left and we will keep updating this index as soon as we encounter any uh, bit at ith position as one so let us now write down what uh, we have discussed with, uh, what we have find out with uh, both of these points so this is the implementation of the algorithm that that we have just discussed so this is the variable answer which we have to finally return from our function then this first loop is to iterate over all the 31 bits that we have discussed here so second thing is that uh, i have declared declared this variable ind which will store the nearest index having its ith bit as 1 so i have initialized this with n now this second for loop is to iterate over uh, over our array from right to left fashion now this thing now here i have extracted the ith bit of the of our arr of j now if this bit that we have just encountered is 1 then i have 
updated this ind variable to uh, 2.2j now we have just done the same thing that we have discussed here n minus ind into 2 raised to the power i so so by performing this operation uh, we can just simply find our answer so now let us discuss the time complexity as shown here so the first first for loop is of size 31 and the second will run n times so time complexity of our solution has reduced to 31 times n or basically we can say it as o of n log n where obviously this log is base 2 and as you can see uh, now also our space complexity is o of 1 so guys we have solved this problem within a uh, within a good time complexity so i think your interview uh, your interviewer would be satisfied from this so guys if you have any queries regarding this approach you can comment in the comment sections or you can join our telegram group link of the same is given in the description and if you like this video do give it a thumb, thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel and thank you